Hi, Tristan here. Well, there is an update on my magnetic system. The do-it-yourself homemade magnetic rifle like the MTO Phantom, but homemade style. Well, uh, this was my first try. You can see my previous videos. I'm explaining how it should work. But to be simple, there you had a kind of you had a, a core made of iron that was supposed to move with um, a piston head, and this is how it was supposed to work. But what I came out was actually that was crap. Uh, to be honest, this is a most advanced one. So. This is the opposite. There, the magnetic core is actually not moving because if you if you compare the weight of the core and of the core itself, the core weighs nothing, literally nothing. And the core is made of so there it's couple of um, what do you call that? Neodymium magnets. And it weights so much. So my idea was, why not? Moving the coil and not the magnets. So this is just the first try what I've done. So there, you actually have um, two layers of 0.56 millimeter uh, in, in enabled, well, whatever, copper wire. From my plane. So I've been winding it around an aluminum, if I can say, layer from a can. Dr. Pepper, yes. So I wind, I've been um, winding it with um, two side tape. In the end, I have something like this. So what is going to happen? Actually there, this little plastic thing is going to be replaced by that. A cylinder head, I'm going to remove of course this rod and there is going to be the cylinder. There is a rod here because the cylinder is not there so it won't help the coil to align during uh, while it's moving. So imagine, this is the piston head right there. It's going to move back and forward. And the thing is, at the beginning I wanted to um I wanted the whole thing to move like a proper AG piston. So I wanted it to move all the way. But then I thought no. Because the thing is with magnetic fields, it's very efficient when it's actually you know for sh very short distance. So if you compare with a DSG something like well whatever, I can't find one. With a DSG, actually the piston head will do only a 35 millimeter. What was that? Trip? <laughs> Translation. So in the end, you're going to need only a very strong um, spring to actually move your piston head only 35 millimeter away. So. There, for example, you're going to add, I have only 8.4 and I match a battery, pretty old to be honest. Just to try, it's a kind of expandable battery. So I plug it directly to this coil and see, this is pretty amazing. First, it's fast. Second, you can you really hear nothing. Second, the coil is barely is still cold. The battery is cold. Um, what happened is actually it pushed it all the way up. But if you go it, the thing is is doing the, the the most strength is going to be between this point and this point. If you really think about it, because there the magnetic field is actually really decreasing considering that only this part of the coil is close to the to the magnetic field from the magnets. So, 
what is going to happen is I'm going to actually close everything, put a piston head, the cylinder, and fill this part, this gap, with um, plumbing blocks, just like this one. It's actually... I'm only using this to correct the AOE on my AGs and it's at the same time reducing reducing the the noise. It's actually made it's a rubber rubber material. So let's see what is going to happen. Well, the idea is then I just put on you know a H gate H bridge, sorry, to reverse the current and ready to go. Um, to be honest, what will be a good idea as well is to replace this by uh, a lipo that will with a much higher uh, discharge ratio, and then it's going to rock. I mean, literally. Well, thank you for watching.